Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. It's a very sad day for everyone at YNR and the Soap fans. YNR's legacy cast member Veron Soap star Jerry Douglas is no more. People confirmed the news on Wednesday, November 11th. As per the reports, Jerry passed away on Tuesday, just three days shy of his 89th birthday. Close reps confirmed that the actor had been ill shortly before passing away. Following his death, his family wrote an obituary which was later obtained by people as well. Jerry was born on November 12, 1932 in Massachusetts. He attended Brandeis University in Waltham, Massachusetts where he earned a degree in economics. Besides, he played quarterback on the school's football team. After graduating, he pursued a career in acting and landed the role of John Abbott on YNR. It was in 1982 when he made his debut on YNR as the patriarch of the Abbott clan and wealthy businessman who owned Jabot Cosmetics. For 25 years, he appeared as a series regular on YNR before being killed off in 2006. Nevertheless, he continued to appear as a spirit and appeared in visions of his children. He made his final appearance in 2016. Upon learning of his death, YNR exec producer Anthony Marina said in a statement, On behalf of the entire company of The Young and the Restless, we send our deepest sympathies to the Douglas family on the passing of Jerry Douglas. Jerry came to YNR in 1982 with an impressive resume of credits. Our show was lucky to have an actor of his caliber join the YNR cast and introduce the audience to the iconic Abbott family. His contribution to the legacy of YNR as Abbott family patriarch John Abbott is still felt to this day. He will be sorely missed, he wrote in his tribute. Jerry had an excellent career that spanned about six decades. For several years, he took on villainous roles on various television shows like The Feather and Father Gang and Mission Impossible to name a few. He had also appeared in various movies like JFK, Avalanche, The Godson, Head Over Spurs in Love, and Mommy Dearest. Occasionally, he also performed on stage as an actor as well as a singer. In 2007, he released the jazz album entitled The Best Is Yet To Come. Speaking of his personal life, Jerry had been married twice in his lifetime. He married his second wife Kimberly Bankier after getting a divorce from Martel. He is survived by his ex-wife Martel, wife Kim, sons Jod and Hunter, daughter Avra and two grandchildren. We would like to extend our heartfelt condolence to the grieving family members. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.